So what we're going to do is I'm going to deal out some cards here for the crib. Now what you're going to need to do is each player gets six cards. So we're just going to shuffle this up. Now you can play 121 or you can play 61. It doesn't matter how many points you're playing for. This so we're just going to finish dealing out these cards. And as I was saying before, before uh, my beautiful um, camera dropped over and I had to edit my video. So we're just going to deal out the cards and it's one deck of cards and you deal to the first person, then you, and then you go each person gets six cards. So what we're going to do once we have our six cards is we each get to pick which four cards we're going to pick. And what we're looking for is we're looking to make um, pairs of 15 or runs or flushes and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to these are my cards right here and as you can see I'm going to keep these first four I'm going to throw that away and the reason why is because I'm going to hope for another card that would be beneficial to that now if you've never played before the best card to get in a situation like this would be probably a five so we're just going to wait until the other player over there throws his two cards in this kitty is what it's called and then we're going to cut the deck and see what their face card is so we're just going to flip it over and it's a queen of hearts now if that had been a jack of hearts you would have got two points for that so as you can see it doesn't really help my hand very much and we're just going to play this out and I'm just going to move my hands um, okay he played a four so I'm going to play a king which would make it fourteen he played a, um, an ace, so now it's 15, and he gets two points for that. So he moves two points ahead. I play another king, which is 25, and he's going, it's his turn. 26, I can't go. It's his turn, so he takes one for that. So I play a 10. He plays a queen. I play another 10, so I get one point for last. Now, if I had had a jack instead of the 10, I would have been able to get three points for the run, which would have been the 10, <coughs> queen, and a jack, but I didn't have that. So now we're going to count our points up here. Now, you get for each pair, you get two points. So I have two pairs, which is the 10s and the kings, so there's four points for that. The queen didn't help me at all, so I'm going to move four points ahead. So then we're going to flip over our kitty. And we're going to look at that card right there and see if that helped us. And we only have six points in the kitty, so it didn't help us at all. So, two, four, six. I moved six points ahead. And now we're going to go to the next deal, which is his deal. And we go back and forth, vice versa. So, I'll just bring you back and show you in a minute. So, we're just going to watch him deal the cards. Now, the best hand to hope for is you'd want different combinations of five. Say if you had uh, three fives, that would be pretty great with a flip over card, which would be a face card. Okay, now these are my hands. Um, normally I would keep this because that's a guaranteed two, but because I'm hoping for something else, I discarded it into his kitty and I got exactly what I was hoping for. So. Let's go 10. He's He played a 6, which would bring it to 16. So here's 26. He played a 2, which would be 28. Here's another 2 for 30, and I get 2 points for the pair. And if he can't go, I get another point for go, and he can't go. So now it's his turn to lead. He got 9. I got a jack, which is 10 or 19. He came back with another 9, so he gets the go for last. So in my pair, I have with the queen which is the flip over card right here you can't see that right here I have the three three uh, runs twice which is six and then I get a pair for the king which is eight so I have eight points here in my hand so I move ahead eight two four five six seven eight so there we go eight and now he has in his he has nines a nine and a six which would be six points right there it goes 15, 2, 15, 4, and then the pair for 6. And in his kitty, let's see what his kitty has. Oh, he has a really nice kitty. He has a dozen points in his kitty. He has um, 15, 2, 15, 4, 15, 6, and then 6 for the 3, 7. So 
he gets uh, now if he had had a nine or a six that would have been a 24 point hand but he gets the 15 2 15 4 and he gets a dozen for it so I'm gonna deal out the cards again and I'll bring you back on the next hand so I'm just gonna deal out these <coughs> cards again and remember it's six player the person you're playing against first so we go one one two two three three four four five five six six so here's my six and they're pretty crappy hands see and we're just going to take that and discard it into the kitty which will leave us with that and now he's going to cut the cards and with the cut he gives me a three of hearts so three of hearts doesn't really help this hand but let's see he led with a seven so here's 17 with the king 27 28 I get a one for go 16 with the jack he played a uh, 5, which takes it to 21, and here's 31 for 2. And now I have 3 points, 4 with the right jack. If you have the same jack in your hand as the color that's flipped up, see how it's a 3 of hearts. If you have the jack of hearts, you get a point for that. So that gives me 4 points right here. Now how I got the 4 points is the three for the run which is the jack queen king which is the run and then the one point so in my kitty I have who hello not very much I have four I get two for the pair and two for the 15 so that gives me four and it's a good thing that we were only hypothetically playing for eyebrows so he's just dealing out the cards and hopefully uh, he's got a little bit of a jump on me here so hopefully I'll be able to catch him here and my cards here are right here and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chuck this and this into his kitty and hope for the best now what would you think that I would be hoping for in that situation I'm going to cut the cards so let's see what this flipped up and it's a three. That didn't help me very much. C1, play one. Three to him. And he come back with a four, which should be seven. And I'm going to come back with another three, which should be ten. He came back with a six, which is sixteen. I come back with a one, or an ace, whatever you want to call it, which is seventeen. Oh, he has a pair of... He went 18 with another ace, which gives him two points for that. And I'm going to go 19 with the third ace, which gives me six. Two, four, six. And in my... I only have eight, and how I got my eight points here is... I have two aces, which is a pair, which is two points. And then using this card, I have three threes which will bring me to eight, which I get six points for the three of a kind. So the combined is eight, so we're going to go eight. So it goes two, four, six, eight, and then we'll play the next stand. Now what we're gonna do here is, it's my deal, so I get the kitty, but he has first count. And as you can see, he only needs uh, five, 10, 13 points to actually win the game. So, and it's his first count because those who get the kitty, they have the advantage, so that way the person that you're playing against who doesn't get the kitty gets to go first on the count because it will make the difference. Because I have the benefit of two hands opposed to the one, that's why they go first. So I'm just going to deal these out, and it's going to go one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six. They always get six cards, four stay in their hand, two get thrown to the kitty. It's just the way it always works. So I have absolutely nothing here that is looking good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh, I don't know. I'm going to. I'm gonna. I'm gonna throw this and this in the kitty. 
it's my kitty. I'm going to get guaranteed points off of it. And we're going to flip over and see what we got. And we got the Ten of Diamonds, <coughs> which does help my hand, and it was more beneficial to go that way. So we're going to start off with his turn. And he came out with a two. Let's go eight to make a ten. Let's go. He did 18 for two. Now I go 10 for 28. He goes 2 for 30, and that's his go. Now I have 10 for a queen. He has a 2, and I have another jack, which is the last for 22. So I get a point for that. And because I have the 10 flip over, I now get uh, 6 for my runs. See how it goes together? There's 3. Then we switch out the jack, and then we go 6. And then I get a pair for my jacks, which is eight. So then I got eight here. So it goes five, eight. And in my sweet little kitty, meow, 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 I get four. Two for the aces and two for the ten. So. And looks like he's going to need to peg out three points before he can kick my ass. Good thing we're only hypothetically playing for eyebrows. So he's just getting ready to deal out the last hand. Now he's going to be looking for peg points. Now peg points are points that you can earn on the board which are not counting your hand at the end. If you can make a pair, or if you can make a run, if you can do anything that gets points, even taking the last turn is a point. He only needs three of them, so let's hope he can get them. If not, I might have a shot at this. Do I have a shot at it? Hmm. Time will tell. It's his kitty, so let's throw him this and this. And we flip. Now I have first count. And it did help me out. C1, play one. Three for the uh, first card. He played a seven, which is ten. Let's go king for twenty. He brought a queen for 30, and it's his go, because I can't go. He has a 1, which is 31. And now... That was... No, you only get you only get two, you cheater. See how he tried to take the extra point for the go? You don't do that only if... So I come back with an 8. Now he goes, and then I get 1. And I have the first count, and I don't have 20 points. I have... I have a nice chunk. I have 12, 15, 2, 15, 4, 15, 6, 15, 8, 10, 12, 2 for the peers. So I don't have enough to win, but it was a pretty good shot. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. He obviously should have at least one point in all that mess he has over there, so he wins. So I'm just going to start over and uh, we'll play a game through and I'll show you how to do it from the beginning. He can deal since he won.